Welcome to the Synology NAS installation and local area network or LAN setup series. This is an overview video where I'll outline the roadmap we'll be taking to integrate a Synology NAS on a LAN. Note that I won't be covering remote or cloud access in this series. I'll also focus on the SMB network protocol that is accessible by Windows and Mac OS systems. This is what I believe to be a typical LAN setup for a home or small office, which this series is intended for. Lastly, I'll only very briefly cover hardware setup. Synology's desktop series of NASes come with an easy to follow quick start guide. And you should be at the point where your Synology NAS is powered on and connected to your network prior to starting this setup series. If you are still looking to purchase a Synology NAS, there is a link in the description below to a blog post on picking the right 2 bay Synology NAS for your business. With that all covered, let's discuss each video in the series laying out the roadmap we'll be taking. The first video will cover installing Disk Station Manager or DSM, which is the web-based operating system that runs on every Synology NAS. We'll go from finding your Synology NAS on your network to installing and logging into DSM for the first time. Next, we'll set up a storage pool and volume using Storage Manager. Before we can store any files on a Synology NAS, a volume is required, and this is the next step we need to take in our setup process. Our next step will be assigning a static IP address. While technically not required, I find it more convenient having a set IP address rather than allowing the network router to assign a random IP address that may change from time to time. We are now ready to set up our SMB shares. In this step, we'll make sure SMB is enabled and then create a few shared folders with the idea of assigning specific permissions to individual users or groups as we continue through our setup process. Speaking of users, in this step, we'll create a few fictitious users and assign the user's permissions to individual shared folders that we've created in the previous step. Setting up user groups is an optional step, which really depends on the number of users you have in your setup. In this step, we'll create user groups and assign the users we created previously to those groups to give you an alternative option in setting permissions. Lastly, we'll connect both a Windows 10 and a Mac OS computer to the SMB shared folders giving you a few different ways to access the shares on both types of systems. So there you have it, the roadmap we'll be taking to integrate a Synology NAS into a local area network. As additional videos in this series are added, the description below each video will be updated to include the links to all other videos for easy reference. If you enjoy this type of content, please like this video and consider subscribing as it helps grow this channel. Thanks so much.